Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of this Godot networking tutorial series where we are building a REST API using Laravel Lumen and we are going to implement a leaderboard in Godot. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do so now and hit the notification bell to not miss out on any tutorials in future. So let's uh, get started here. Last time we left off by creating our leaderboard API. Now we're just going to run it and then we're going to start implementing the feature in Godot. So what I'm going to do here is um, if you are running Ubuntu or any Linux uh, and you are starting up your server, you might use uh, minus s localhost port 8000. I'm not going to be doing that, but you can do that. I'm going to do it because I'm running a virtual machine for Ubuntu and running the server and running Godot in the same virtual machine can be slow and problematic and it's just going to irritate you watching it. So I'm going to bind this to uh, the Ubuntu IP address so that I can then use it in Windows and I'll prove it to you in a second that I can do that. So I'm just going to uh, paste the IP address of this virtual machine and then I'm going to serve it on port 8000 and I'm going to use the public folder as my entry point. So that's created it and I'm going to just bring over my Chrome browser to show you that I can actually use this. So here is what I need to do is I'm going to just paste this IP address. I'm going to copy it over here and I'm going to just paste it into my browser over here. And I'm going to hit enter and now you'll see that I've got my JSON data. So we can actually now use this in our Godot application. So let me go ahead and create a new Godot project. So just give me a second to just get to Godot over here. And I'm going to just open that up. And now what we'll do is we'll just create a new project and it's going to remove this old one so we can start fresh and I'm going to call it Godot Networking Working Tutorial and create the folder and uh, let's just call this to, to skip that issue. And what we'll do here is we need to go ahead and just create a 2D scene to start with. And then I'm going to create some basic UI. So I'll add a child node and that will just be a panel. And I'll more or less bring this into the center and just resize it to more or less what a leaderboard size would be, like so. And I'm going to add a basic label just to say the word leaderboard. And I'll bring that more or less into the center, type it out and and just place it more or less in the right place. Um, so that's fine. Then what we'll do is we're going to use the HTTP request node, which Godot provides to us, which is quite useful in uh, doing this. So under the panel, I'm going to add a child node and it's going to be HTTP request. And I'm just going to order it so it's before the label. And the particular reason why it just looks better to me, it's more understandable. So now we'll go over to panel and we'll add a new script and we'll just create the script. I'm going to get rid of these comments because we don't need them. And just to make it a little cleaner. So I'm going to close, get rid of that as well. And let's now do an HTTP request. So the first thing we want to do is we'll just create an on ready variable and we'll name it HTTP and we'll get the HTTP request node. Like so. Save this off. Just see that I spell that correctly. Oh, on ready. On, it's actually on ready var. That's why I'm getting some errors. Let's change it around like that. And save that. Okay, so now in on ready or on the ready method, we're going to go ahead and just do the request. So http.request. And we'll use our URL from our browser. So I'm going to go ahead and just get it again. Just have a look. I actually closed that browser window, didn't I? No. So let me grab it from here. Just grab this and paste it in. And 
that would get your data from your REST API. So now we actually need to do something with this. So to do that, we'll go over to the HTTP request node. We'll click on node over here and connect this request completed signal. Connect it to panel. So, and let's just get rid of these extra lines. And I'm gonna show you how this data actually looks when we get it. So first we'll do is we'll just create a JSON variable var JSON and we'll JSON dot parse this parse and we'll use the body which is basically the JSON data that comes back and then we'll use get string from UTF eight TF eight. So basically uh, web requests and data from HTTP is usually UTF-8 and now we're just converting it to a string. So next we'll just go ahead and print this. I'm gonna print json.result so you can see what it's all about. And let's run this. Uh, so we'll select our node scene. And if you check down here, we now have our JSON data which we can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this now. And the whole idea is on our panel, we're going to uh, basically go ahead and try and center off our labels here. And then we're going to try and put them under one another. So we need to shift the coordinates a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll create a shift variable. And I'll just set it to zero for now. And then I want to start looping over our data. So I'm gonna just declare a player variable in json.result. And then we're going to go ahead and create some labels. So var lbl equals label dot new. So that will instantiate a new label for us. We're going to set the label to basically align center. So this is going to help us in uh, doing our calculation. So label align center like that. And then we'll just go ahead and now set our label text. And it's going to be player.name. And we're just going to append a dash like that. And we're just going to add player.score. Then we'll simply just go ahead and start doing our calculation. So we need to get an idea of how big our label is. So we'll do var label size, and we'll just go ahead and do label dot get combined minimum size. So that will just get us the minimum size of everything included, paddings, uh, spacing, etc. And we'll just add just on the X because we're going to do it horizontally. Then what we need to do is we need to get the size of our actual panel and then we need to subtract the two sizes and divide it by two to center it off. So I'll just declare another variable called center and I'll just go self because we're on the panel and we'll get the rect size, rect size dot x and then we'll subtract our label size like so and divide that by two so that should give us more or less the center point of our panel and then we'll just set our position for our label and it'll be a vector two so I'll just put vector two in here and we'll use the center as the x and then we'll use the arbitrary number let's just do 50 and we'll add our shift so the first one's not going to have any shift because it's zero and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add to our shift for the next round of the loop. So first we'll just add our label, self.l add child, and we'll just put a label in here. And then finally we'll update our shift and I'm just going to add 20 to it for now. And then we'll see how that looks. Let's run this. And now you'll see we've got this Dale, Jane, John, and they're all pretty much centered in the middle of our panel. So that's the basics of creating a leaderboard using a REST API and then bringing it into Godot to read off your REST API. So I hope this has been a useful tutorial series. If you liked it, please like below. If you have questions, do leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. 
Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.